How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about vacation mode in Stronghold Kingdoms. We're coming up on the end of the year, uh, 2016 already, and this is a month that a lot of players who haven't already used their vacation mode will now find the ideal time to do so. So let's go into it a little bit. I'll explain for those new to the concept of vacation mode in Stronghold Kingdoms what it is and how to get through it while avoiding any major pitfalls. So first things first, I think you should be aware of what vacation mode can do for you and what it won't do for you. So if we take a look here at the Wikipedia page for it and you can also view this page by checking the description below this video you can refer back to it in case you need a refresher so first things first putting your account into vacation mode is account wide if you are active in multiple worlds and you enter vacation mode in a single one of them the vacation mode will be applied to all of them so you don't have to worry about being attacked in any given world you also need a premium token to activate the vacation mode. You can't activate vacation mode until your account is at least 30 days old. Any attacks sent by the player activating the vacation mode, in other words, any attacks you send will be canceled once vacation mode is activated. So make sure that you don't have any important outgoing attacks when activating vacation mode and any incoming attacks when vacation mode is active, either be it from the AI or from other players will land as normal. So you still can lose villages. All production in villages will remain the same as if you were not interacting with those villages. Nothing is halted. Your villages will continue producing goods. And if you have the auto merchant enabled during the vacation mode, you, you will also be able to sell some of your goods to the market as per your automated merchant settings. So the real advantage to putting your account in vacation mode is that you will be protected from all attacks, be it from AI or from other players. This is a significant advantage because of how vulnerable villages are when you're offline. They can be easily taken out in like 10 minutes if your enemy is, in with, is within close proximity to your villages or they play cards or they are actually in a an age where army speed is greatly increased such as age six where i am last but by no means least you are limited to two rounds of vacation per year so this would be a total of 30 days at most and they are broken up into two segments so if you use one vacation mode during your summer vacation for example you will only have one available left at the end of the year however since vacation mode is based on the calendar year and not on the amount of time elapsed since you last activated vacation mode it is quite possible to essentially have two months of vacation back to back if you put your account into vacation mode in december of one year and then also put it into vacation mode at the start of the following year that would essentially give you back to back protection for all your villages for two months straight, which can come in beneficial for some people, although it was not the intended application of vacation mode. So like I said, I'm going to be putting my account into vacation mode for the next 15 days. So what we do to get started here is make sure click on show all cards and we need to go and get a seven day premium token. Now you can either use a seven day premium token or a 30 day premium token to activate the option for a vacation mode. I have a ton of seven day premium tokens. I don't have any 30 day premium tokens. So we're going to go ahead and play a seven day token. There we go. Now I am going to go ahead and click my account. And from there, click vacation mode options. And you'll get this little pop-up screen here that says going away on holiday. Set vacation mode to protect your villages from attack. For from attack, surely that should be plural, for up to 15 days. The number of vacations available to you are displayed right here. I currently have two. And the duration of days that this vacation mode will apply to can be adjusted right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do all 15 days. And even though I only have a seven day premium token in play, my account will remain in vacation mode all 15 days, 
regardless of whether or not that premium token runs out, which it obviously will. I find this is an important distinction that a lot of uh, newcomers are not aware of and I see it asked quite frequently. So hopefully that clears it up. Although you should be aware that if you do have a seven day premium token in play and it expires while you are in vacation that any of the automatic functions that were being provided by that premium token will also expire so uh, for example there will be no more automatic scouting on the map there will be no automatic trading you get the idea i hope so let's start the vacation 15 days here we go you're about to enter vacation mode during this time, all of your villages will be protected from new attacks across all worlds, but you will be unable to cancel this for three days, and you will have no access to your account during this period. Are you sure you wish to start vacation mode? Yes. Simple as that. Now we are given the option to log out, and before doing so, we can turn on such things as auto trading. I encourage you to trade a resource that is not critical to your economy. Turning on auto scouting is never going to go wrong for you. Turning on auto attack I would generally not recommend as the attacks against AIs by the AI is never very efficient. And auto recruit can be set to automatically recruit peasants. There's really no reason not to max out your army size or your barracks with peasants. If available, they're very cheap. So go ahead and do that. It's pretty much a win-win situation. If you don't end up needing them, well, you only spent three gold or so per peasant and you can just suicide them on the nearest wolf castle. So we're going to exit. And that's pretty much it for vacation mode. If we start the game back up and attempt to log in, you will get the following message. Vacation mode expires in 14 days, 23 hours and 59 minutes for me, but I can cancel it in two days and 23 hours, 58 minutes. So essentially you are locked out of your account for at least three days, but it can be up to 15 days. I'm not exactly sure why you would ever lower it why you would set it for anything less than 15 days because you can always cancel it after three days so you might as well go for the maximum in case you intend to overshoot on that number if you set it for less than 15 days you're not given that option so wh where's the benefit what situation would that be beneficial to the player i'm not sure if you are aware if you can think of a scenario where you would actually choose to do that Feel free to let me know in the comments below if I missed anything or if I, if something was not made clear. I like to think that you walk away from this video fully understanding the concept that I'm attempting to teach or convey or educate you on. So if I failed in that objective, be sure to let me know. Anyways, thank you very much for watching as always and I hope to see you next time.